Hello guys, so I welcome you back on Jagdan Farms, your favorite channel where you get to learn everything catfish farming. So lately I've been receiving calls on Azula and then Dakui. And then uh, I thought I had enough videos on my YouTube and Instagram handles on Azula and then Dakui. But then apparently my videos are uh, a bit limited. They always talk about how to fertilize the pond and then how to culture Azula and then Dakui, their benefits and how to feed your fishes with. So um, I realized I have no video on how to set up the pond itself, a detailed video. And today happens to be a day that I am constructing a pond for an additional pond, like two ponds for uh, Azula and then Dakui poultry. So I thought it would be wise if I make a video on it to show you how these ponds are constructed and then how to manage it. So let's go straight to the construction phase. Sorry, I've already constructed the, the pond. I, I, I wasn't having my tripod with me and then there were, there were some issues I was facing while constructing. I had a shortage of meals and other stuff at the farm. So I had to manage and then set up. But don't worry, I'll give you a detailed explanation as to how I, I, I went about this. So let's go. Welcome back. So guys, the construction is very basic, very simple. You just need something to hold water. You can choose to go by this method, that is lining a wooden frame, any frame with a tarpaulin, any rubber to hold water, or go with the earthen construction, just like the one behind me. That is where you dig the ground and then make sure that the land or the soil is good enough to hold water, to retain water, or go by this method. Anyway, any, anyhow will do. The only aspect where you need to make sure is that you try to fill, if you are going about using the uh, rubber method like this, you need to make sure that you fill the base with some amount of soil. Any like few, probably um, half or quarter inch layer of soil will do. So you spread your soil in the pond and then fill it up with water and you proceed to the fertilization. This is very basic. Anything that can hold water at all, you can use it for Azula that we uh, uh, poultry. It is very simple. Just as I've done here, I constructed the framework using wooden uh, woods and then line it up with this rubber. This rubber is very cheap. You can get it on the market. Or if you have any rough tarpaulin, you can use it to actually line the frame just as you do for the tarpaulin fish ponds and so forth. If you have the thousand liters tank, you can also do. But bear in mind that the more you get, the wider the pond or the wider the surface area, the more you can harvest because the depth does not really matter here. The main goal is to get a wide surface area in order to harvest more from harvest more azula or dark weed. So you need to make sure that your pond is not so deep but then wide. This is, this is very simple. You fill the base with some amount of soil and then you get your fertilizer ready. So with the fertilization you can go by using dark weed or poultry manure. Anyone available to you just that with the poultry manure you need to make sure that um, with a cow dung, you need to make, make sure that it is above three days old. It's not a fresh cow dung. You, you fetch the cow dung from the abattoir or wherever you get that. Make sure that at least it is two or three days old. And then dilute it in water. Just as in my previous video, you can go back and then watch how to fertilize the pond in order to make this video short. You can go back, to, uh, back and watch how to fertilize the pond. I have the link below uh, above. You can do that and watch. So, so this is my fertilizer solution. I poured some amount of um, poultry manure here. 
I've been using this for some time. This is my holding container. So what I do is to pour the fertilizer, uh, sorry, the manure here, and then dilute it with water. Wait for it to settle a bit, and then pour the solution right into the pond. So for the other pond back there, I've already filled, filled the base with some amount of water. I'll be filling uh, some amount of uh, soil. So I'll be filling this pond as well with soil. And I feel to mention this, you need to make sure that you are for some form of shading to the dark weed, especially the azula, in order to get achieve an optimum growth. You need to afford some form of shading. So if you don't have any shade, just as what I'm doing here, you see this particular pond, the one the blue one there, this particular pond has some form of shade net on it. This is because it's an azula pond, and azula is really uh, somehow difficult to handle than the dark with the dry shading. So I've positioned this pond where I can get shade from the uh, coconut tree right here. You can see the shade on from the coconut tree falling into the pond. And then I can as well have some shading from container right here. This particular building, I can get some shading. So at any point in the day, I can either get the shading from the coconut tree or from this building. Basically, this, these are things you need to actually um, check yourself. You conduct your feasibility study and then you decide where to position your pond. So here am I filling the base with soil. Sorry, this is just uh, soil, it's nothing, it's uh, just wet soil. I had this amount of soil in my other pond that I collapsed. Uh, I didn't want to dig anywhere for soil, so I had to just make sure that I transfer that soil into this pond. So you can equally spread the soil evenly. So this is me picking the solution, the poultry manure solution into the pond. I try to sieve it a bit. Remember in my other videos, I spoke about you not leaving anything suspended in the surface of the pond. This is because duckweed and azula are floating plants and then you need to make sure that there is nothing floating which will uh, occupy this uh, the surface area of your pond and thereby limit the space for the azula or the dark weed to grow so guys after fertilizing your pond all you need to do is to now spread your seedlings so this is my dark weed pond all i need to do is to fetch few of the dark weed and then spread it on top of the water A small quantity like this will do because just a single leaf this tiny leaf let me show you let me bring it a bit closer for you to see this tiny this tiny leaf can actually go through 10 divisions it can actually go through 10 divisions in less than three days so if you have a, a, a leaf, a single leaf like this, it can go through 10 divisions in four to like three to five days, depending on how well you fertilize your pond. So they actually grow faster. If you spread, let's say, one kilo of dark wheat seedlings here, you are looking to harvest around seven to 10 times the quantity you spread on top of the water in just seven days. So this is very good for you to do and they don't require much maintenance just top up your manure 
or your fertilizer every week and you are good you are good to go so this is the dark weed and then this is the azula we have here let me bring it a bit closer to the camera for you to see azula is a bit broader and then thicker than the dark weed but trust me dark weed have faster growth rate than the azula so they, they, they make up for their thickness as well so you do the same thing for your azula you spread it on top of your water your pond water and then leave it for about five to six days that is where you are actually going to see the difference but I, one thing I always uh, advise people is that if you are choosing between the Azula and then the Aku, just go in for one. Uh, it's, 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 it's difficult to control them. Once a single leaf of that weed enters your Azula pond, it takes over the Azula entirely. With time, it will take over the Azula entirely. That weed are very invasive, as I said earlier. So basically, this is what, this is how to uh, construct and then uh, culture Azula and that weed. Please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and then share the video as well for others to benefit. Thank you for watching this video, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.